What's going on, Rack City? Man, look here. I'm out here, people. I'm out here, man, look. I'm turning into a real businessman. Like, I'm really turning into a businessman, and I want to turn into a business, you know what I'm saying? But as of right now, I'm just, I'm just transforming from a worker, an employee, to a businessman. I'm feeling the process. I mean, this is all aspects of my life. I can see just how I talk to everybody. I'm turning into a business person. Like I can, I, I got a hotel room the other day for my family reunion, and um, and I was there by myself. So I noticed something. I didn't turn on the TV. I got a suite. I sat down when I got in there. I didn't even get. In, I put my my books and my bags and stuff down. Put all the liquor in there because you know I got stuff for the family. Put all that stuff over there. And I, 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 when I was in Walmart, when I was buying the liquor and stuff, I got a notepad and some little pencils or whatever. I had some other projects I, I'm doing. I was drawing pictures and writing out ideas and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, damn, on my vacation, I'm doing business. I didn't even turn on the TV because I was so concerned about my business ideas and let me get these things down on paper before I forget them. So it's it's crazy, man, how I'm, I'm noticing this. I, but I don't, I don't have this dry ever since I was a little kid. I just, I just sell candy when I was in, in middle school. I just sell candy and uh, my, I started selling my trick or treat candy. So I always had that hustle mentality. I didn't want to go to jail. So I'm like, I had my friends that was selling crack and I was like, yeah, I ain't gonna sell no damn crack. But I can sell these damn, this candy that I got because I don't like all this candy. Um. And then I, when I ran out of candy, I was like, what can I sell? And I started buying little Debbie cakes and I was, I was selling, the, um, I bought a box for like, I think a box was like $2 back then, or a dollar. Maybe, I, I think a box was like a 104 or something like that. And uh, yeah, that's what it was. It was like 99 cent, but when tax kicked in, it was like 104 or 105. And um, I sell the, it was 12 in the pack, and I sell them for a quarter piece. So I make like four dollars off a box. So that was like a, almost almost a three dollar profit if I didn't eat any. Um, I remember that dog. That was my little hustle. So I always I'm always kind of thinking of ways how I can make money. So all the people that made if you made over a thousand dollars this week, hit the like button. And if you didn't make over a thousand dollars, you need to be emailing me, man. You need to be emailing me and saying, look, man, help me get to this paper, bro. Now, this week right here, yeah, I almost made 5, 5K this week. So, if if it's some people that's watching this video that, that did make 5K, if it's five people that made that did make 5K, and then you got one person that did make 5K, something wrong. So, and we had the same amount of time last week. We did, the, you know what I'm saying? We had the same amount of days and and in hours and minutes last week. So how can I make five and you not make a thousand? So look, man, I'm trying to help people get to this bread. I'm trying to help people get to this money, man. Cause it's out here, man. I see it. I just, yeah, I see it there. Look at that money over there. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes you don't feel like getting it though. Like I don't want to do that for that money. I don't, yeah, no, nah, I ain't finna do that for no money. You know, I remember, I remember the first time I was on a job I had just graduated from college and I was just coming home just to do some any any kind of work until I found a, a better a permanent job. So I went to a temp service. And they sent me to a place when I was outside shoveling sawdust. And I was at a big meal. And they like all the from the from when the blade would cut the trees and stuff up, all the sawdust was in a big ass pile. And the big ass pile was in the sun. Now, I stay in, in Georgia, like, right on the line, like, 19 miles away from Florida. All right. I graduated in, in May, like, the end of May. So, it's June, July. I'm out here, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, shoveling sawdust from this pile to that pile. My brain, I'm thinking, like, why am I even doing this? Why do I have a shovel doing this? Why they don't got no little tractor that can scoop this stuff up? Like what? This don't even make no sense. This this don't make no sense right here. Why? What am I doing? I got a college degree. And I'm out here shoveling sawdust 
so that was the first time I was like, I, I called the people, I said, hey, look, man, this ain't, this ain't for me. And they said, so you saying you quitting? I said, well, I ain't quitting y'all company. I'm just, I don't want to do this right here. And she was like, well, if you walk off, we gonna see that as a quit and uh, we can't, we can't do no business with you no more. And I was like, man, it's a hundred something degrees out here, bro. I am, I'm not gonna stay out here all day. You know what I'm saying? I value myself. So I had to draw that line. Like, you know what? I'm not gonna do this for money. There's some things I won't do for money. I'm not gonna do that. Now I work hard. And that's what I want. I start this video. Over here, what I'm doing, I'm working hard. I'm working. This ain't no easy ass check. You got long hours. You on the road. You in cities you ain't never been to. You out here getting dirty. You, I mean, crazy hours too. Sometimes you might be driving early in the morning, three in the morning. Sometimes you might be you know, starting up, driving at six o'clock in the afternoon. Now you got to drive through the whole night. Then some days you might start at 12 in the afternoon and you shut down at 12 at night. So it just, it's pent. everything changes. There's no set routine. You really don't know exactly when you're going to be home. You got an idea, but you don't know 100%. Like there's a lot of variables that can go wrong. A load can get canceled. Your truck can mess up. There's a lot of things that can happen that can hinder you in your process. So this is not an easy deal. Like you got to be willing to dedicate yourself to the hustle or to the struggle and your process of, of like, it's like a, a caterpillar, like how a caterpillar, they, they, they eat a leaf. You ever see how a caterpillar eat a leaf? He just eat the hell out of that leaf. Like, I mean, he, he can destroy a leaf in like 30 minutes. So you know they just cramming all that food in their mouth. Their stomach got to be full, but they know if I go ahead and grind it out, fast I get um, big enough, enough energy, I can go into my cocoon and I can transform to a butterfly. That's that they they know that. Fast I get big enough, I'm gonna go into my cocoon and I'm gonna turn into a butterfly. They trying to be a butterfly. They just finna eat the fuck out that leaf so they can hurry up and turn into a butterfly. And I'm noticing that with some drivers. Like I had a driver, he quit. And uh, so I, I I noticed like I was hitting him up and he would never really respond. So I'm like, I don't know what to do, man. So uh, he finally told me he left. And I was like, man, what's up, man? Why you left? And he said, I'll, I'll call you later. And he never called me. So he don't want to call me and let me know. Now we used to talk all the time when he would want to come on over here. But I want to know why he left so I can get his information to another driver. Because another driver might be going through the same situation. And I'll just look, man, do, do, do. you got to be ready for this. Or if this ain't what you want to do, don't do it. Because I don't want to want to hinder nobody, put nobody in a situation where they life on pause. Because what I'm telling you, I want, I want to be able to give people the, the information that's going to help them succeed. But he wouldn't, he wouldn't even, uh, he won't return my phone call. So I'm just like, damn, bro. I pulled into you. Now I'm asking you for some information that you won't give me nothing. I don't know if he embarrassed or he just don't give a fuck. I don't know. But like, one thing I'm gonna say with people out here, man, if you gonna come out here, you gotta work. We can make this, you wanna make no 5K, you gotta motherfucking work. I'm working, man. I'm working, man. One of my homeboys always tell me, dog, you, uh, you, you working too much, you working too much. I'm like, bro, look, I'm an I'm ant, you a grasshopper. You have fun, you hop around, you enjoying your shit. But when one time come, I'm gonna be stacked up. When one time come from you, you gonna be looking at me like, hey T, get my hoes on. Nice. So, man, I'm trying to change my my family, like legacy, dude. Like, we, I'm trying to change some things, man. So I don't know what y'all trying to do. I don't know if some, some of y'all just want to work just enough to get a nice car. Some people want to work just enough so they don't have to work. I don't see people like that. They'll, they'll work just enough to get a check so they can call out. Nah, oh, man. I'm trying to work enough to where I get checks on top of checks and I can start taking these checks and investing in other stuff. And I got money coming from other places. And now once I got five different kind of things going on with money coming in from different places, now I can kind of sit back and say, okay, now I can just manage this though. Now I'm managing my money. I ain't working for my money. I'm, my money is working for me. And I'm just making sure that all the workers are working right. That's that's all I got to do. And, uh, you know, I'm a little ways away from that. I'm probably like, 
I'm probably like five years away from that. If I really grind, I probably could be like three years away from that. But I'm human. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to have my little down times. I'm going to do my little dumb shit that's going to set me back here and there. <sighs> but the point of this video, if you're going to drive trucks, man, you need to be making over $1,000 a week. If you want to make more than $1,000 a week, unless you get a gravy job like uh, FedEx or uh, uh, a rollway or yellow or something like that, most of the time you're going to have to work a little bit. There's some jobs out there where you do good, but it's like you got to, you, somebody got control over you with a job. I don't want nobody to have control over me. Like Schneider, they got, they, somebody always going to have control over you a little bit. Let me just say it like that. Even if you're the boss or the boss, like the dude that's at, on Amazon, he can make moves like you want to, but he still get backlash sometimes. So it's still stuff. Everybody got checks and balances. But I want to put myself in a position where I got more control than the average person. The average person got to do what the boss tell you to do. The boss say, look, we're going to start leaving out at 7 in the morning. I need y'all to be here at 6.45. I got to be there at 6.45. The boss say, damn, the contract got pushed back. I need y'all to be here at 12 o'clock. And we're going to run shifts from 12 to 12. And y'all going to work four days a week. That's what y'all got to do. You know what I'm saying? The boss said, hey, look, we finna move the warehouse over there. After this week, y'all can't park here no more. Y'all gotta start parking behind this place. That's what y'all gotta do. And like, that's cool and all, but I kinda like to do my own thing. You know, I like, I kinda like to have a little bit of control for what I'm doing. Some people cool would not have no control because now they don't gotta do a lot of thinking. You gotta do a lot of thinking. You, you stress free, you just go home and watch Empire and Jeopardy and whatever, and you cool. That ain't really who I am. But all right, people, man. If you making over a stack, hit the like button. If you make it under a stack, email me at torspatrick at gmail.com so we can get you some money, man.